Hi, I'm Emariah Clift, and this is Molly McAleer. So Molly, how does it make you feel as a teacher when a student fails a project or an assignment? It makes me feel as though I have failed to motivate them in the way that they needed to be motivated. What can you do to help them feel more motivated? What can you do to inspire them to study? Um, I like to remind students how smart they actually are and just because they're not excelling in school does not mean that it's necessarily their fault that they need to figure out the best way for them to learn and advocate for themselves so that they can get the passing grades that they need to graduate from high school and become successful in their own way. Absolutely. And does it ever surprise you when a student, when certain students do poorly? Do you ever, you know, like, oh, you shouldn't have, you know, you're so much better than that. I expect a lot more out of you. Um, great question, Amari. And no, it doesn't surprise me because oftentimes when they do poorly, it's due to external circumstances and we can't control life, you know, and sometimes things happen in our lives that keep us from attending school and being really truly present. So no, I'm not surprised. I think that we need to anticipate life happening, right? Exactly. Perfect. So Michelle, how does failing a class make you feel? Like I didn't try hard enough or that the class wasn't important enough for me to try so hard to pass. How does it affect you in the long run? Um, it makes it so that high school takes longer, and it also might affect the way that colleges look at you and things of that nature. It's going to take some hard work, and we all have to overcome, and I know that they can do it. Perseverance. Absolutely. Yeah, back at you. I feel like we should go to coffee. Let's do it. Ask you date. Or perhaps get a chicken and a soft taco. Really good kids to be bowls and burrito. burrito. Oh, I love those, by the way. <laughs> really? Yeah, they'll spend you much worth it. Oh, yeah.